Evening everyone, uh, time for another beer review. This one is going to be Belgian Double by Brewmaster Ben. Everyone who knows who Brewmaster Ben is, so let's be honest, he's got four and a half thousand subscribers or something ridiculous. So um, I don't remember his recipe, I know we've done a video on it. Um, so go and check it out if you want to know what's in it, because I should have done beforehand. Um, but to be honest, I just want a beer. Um, he done uh, two Belgian brews out of one batch, as far as I know, or something like that. One's into a single, so effectively a blonde, I guess. And then he done a double as well. Um, probably shouldn't have gone for this, but I picked it this morning because I haven't eaten since about midday and I'm absolutely starving. So I'm probably going to be a bit pissed of this. We'll see. Anyway, everyone loves a. Well, not everyone does. I like a Belgian double, so I figured. The old Westmore glass. <gasps> Quickly, you know, Kilner jars are some of us use for rehydrating yeast. I'm probably really slow on the uptake here. Instead of a few quid wherever else, 89p in Ikea. No brainer. So, when you go past Ikea, grab some. If you use them for rehydrating yeast, that is. Okay, so, I should have got a bottle open. I'm going to use a spoon. Let's get it cracked. Plenty of cannon smoke. Oh. Yeah, smells good because obviously nice a lot of Belgian beers is uh is the yeast character right smells good 500 mil bottle as well naughty man naughty Ben <laughs> looks good carbonation looks spot on So, carbonation's good. That colour looks really good for double. Look at that hue. Ruby colour there. And that's that. Looks, certainly looks the part. Here you get the yeast character, the Belgian candy sugar as well, that, that adds to it. Don't know if you used. Oh, what did you use? I wish I'd watched the video now. Anyway, it's on his channel. Let's get into it and see what it's like. smooth that carbonation that was there on the pour has really died down to well not a lot at all in fact that's stuck to the side because it's fairly cold but it's really quite low carb which is cool. I think in style though, it's highly carb. Strange. Anyway, don't know if that was intentional or not. Or maybe it was batch primed. <clears throat> and I've got a bottle which is fairly low carb. Who knows? I'm sure you'll tell me. But on appearance, it looks really good. On the initial pour, the carbonation looked really good. It smells good. It's very smooth. Very smooth. No hint of the 7.5 as per usual with Belgian beers, which. Well, obviously some do, but um, I find Belgian beers very dangerous because you can trigger a whole lot of them. Um, I think it's Beer Hawk to a Belgian beer, Trappist case, and that is, God, that's good. Um, but very, very dangerous. And this will be the same, because I drink loads of these. Before you know it, I mean, look at that. It's already half gone. Before you know it, I'll be on my... On the back. Yeah, let's get it in there. Screw it, it's Saturday. Anyway. So yeah, as a Belgian beer as Belgian beers go, Ben, really good. Got a normal characteristic, so you've got a decent yeast characteristic. A little bit spicy, a little bit dry. Um Belgian candy sugar's good, the body on it's good, nice and smooth. 
touch of caramelly notes, which is cool, which I like as well, which is normal. Very nice beer, I must admit. If I brewed that, I'd be very happy with it. I'd probably carve it a little bit more. But, but I can't really cut by accident. I'll press cut. I don't know if you don't know this when it comes together. Um, I'd be very happy with that if I brewed that. Good brewing. Okay, guys. Um, thanks very much for your time. Have a great weekend. Um, check out Brew Master Ben. There's no way you don't really don't subscribe to him. But if you if you're an ostrich, then um, check him out, Brew Master Ben. Um, what do you guys? Great videos. Um, see you later. Have a great evening.